Ramblings of a Music Teacher, Episode 2 A Change for the Better or the Worse ABRSM theory is changing. A couple of days ago, the ABRSM announced that they are changing their theory exams as of the beginning of next year. The announcement is titled Improving Our Theory Exams. I would be interested to know whether you think these changes are for the better or the worse. The main changes from the 1st of January 2018 will be, firstly, introducing multiple choice questions for the musical terms and signs. This will be more like the style of questions used by Trinity College and, by the way, our Android app, Music Theory Terms and Signs, quizzes you using multiple choice answers. I'm sure many students will welcome this change as it will make the exam easier. But will it make you a better musician? In real life, when you are reading a new piece of music and you have a performance direction you have never seen before, are you given a multiple choice? The second change is to remove completely the writing and answering rhythm question in the lower grades and also the writing an eight bar melody question in grade five. Again, I'm sure many students will welcome this change. I know from my experience of teaching this section that a lot of students found it one of the hardest parts. But my question is again, will it make you a better or a worse musician? Are we simply technical analysts or creative artists? Here is a comment I found on a forum discussing the changes. One of my recent grade five candidates really enjoyed and blossomed with the composition question. Early attempts were abysmal, and I don't think he'd mind my saying that, but he commented later that it was one of the things he had most valued. I suppose if you are simply taking the exam as a qualifying thing, rather than looking at all-round musicianship, it may matter less. This in itself poses another question. Why do ABRSM make it a requirement to have Grade 5 Theory before doing Grade 6 Practical? Isn't it because they claim to value all-round musicianship? And yet they are taking away the most creative element of the theory exam. The third change is to remove yet another section of the exam from Grade 5, the SATB Short to Open Score question. With regards to this, I am somewhat in agreement. The old style question was just a lot of copying out notes. But couldn't they have just made this question shorter? Maybe just converting one bar from short to open score or vice versa. What I find even more disconcerting is that they are not updating the workbooks in line with the new syllabus. In my opinion, this is just to save money. This is their official statement. Regarding the workbooks, music theory and practice, they say, we are not making any changes to our music theory and practice books for grades one to five. They still cover all the knowledge and skills you need for our music theory exams at these grades from 2018. The sections on rhythm writing, word setting and melody writing will not be directly relevant to the exams from 2018, but overall, music theory in practice continues to provide plenty of valuable teaching and learning material for the exams. In my opinion, this is just a money-saving exercise. Then regarding the book First Steps in Music Theory and also the book The AB Guide to Music Theory Part 1, they state, we are not making any changes to these books. They cover the basic principles of music theory and provide a thorough introduction to the knowledge and understanding needed at grades one to five. They continue to offer valuable support for exam preparation from 2018 onwards. 
Again, in my opinion, it would be too expensive for the board, who charge nearly £40 for a 10-minute practical exam. I will leave you with another comment I found on the forum about this topic. Isn't the real reason for the change to reduce the need for human marking so that more of the paper can be machine marked? That will be very much cheaper for the board. Will the cost of entry go down as a result? Will pigs fly? Please do leave your thoughts in the comments below and share this video with other music teachers and students who will be affected by these changes. Thanks for listening and see you next week for more ramblings of a music teacher.